alien. No, 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 no. This thing has a trachea in its trachea that can extend and retract. Wait, 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 wait. Have you ever gotten the Glizzy Guzzler 9000 from a throat inside of a throat? Wait, 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 wait. I think not. Smash. The thing. Okay, so this is one of those creatures that could literally be anyone or anything you could possibly want. I want it to have like 37 thick asses. The only way this wouldn't be a smash is if you valued something stupid like personality or chemistry. Ha! Gay! Smash. Jason Voorhees. It depends at which stage we're talking about with Jason, because as the movies go on, he just gets like more decayed and waterlogged. A corpse that's been discovered in the reeds floating in the water full of gas and maggots is not a place you should put your folds and flaps. Pass. Freddy Krueger. A lot of you might think I'd pass on Freddy because of his torn up face and skin, but I'm not that shallow. It's not all about looks, guys. It's actually because his knife clubs would tear my c*** from my body and because the rest of them looks f disgusting too. Pass. The Fly. First off, Jeff Goldblum has always kind of looked like an old man in my head. And every time I watch The Fly, I'm just utterly in shock as to how f***ing ripped he was. But this isn't about uncomfortably ripped, melty Jeff Goldblum. It's about the Brundlefly abomination that he turns into. No, I don't think I'll be having sex with that. Pass. Tusk. A walrus assembled out of a traumatized screaming man and a suit made from corpses. I know you're all sitting behind your screens waiting for me to say how I'd go full walrus on this thing's anus, and you should all be very ashamed of yourself. Pass. I will never recover. The toothy vag lady from teeth. You might be thinking that the teeth are a deal breaker, but the thing is, she doesn't have to bite down. I've trusted plenty of people to allow it in their mouths. If the lady seemed normal and non-murderous, I'd also trust a downstairs mouth. Smash. The little doll from Saw. Despite the fact that my masochistic tendencies would pair quite well with this, it's a weird little doll on a tricycle. Also, he looks like he has clown makeup on. I learned from my time spent with the pussy that no matter how hard I try, clown porn is not my thing. Pass. The Nun. Michael Myers from Halloween. There's a time and a place for a deadpan performance, and it's great when delivered in things like comedy or a murderous rampage. Applying the same logic to sex sounds uncomfortable. I don't want you to just sit there stone-faced and make direct eye contact with me as your shitty theme music plays. For God's sake, man, say something! Pass. Predator. This thing's mouth anatomy could give the best slob gobbler knob groveler I've ever seen in my whole gosh darn life. Smash. The aliens from A Quiet Place. They got that foldy face. I bet its weird ear sockets are capable of giving one hell of a chold gulper with extra sauce. Okay, seriously, this is getting weird now. Why do so many horror movie aliens have such foldable faces? What do you mean I'm the weird one? They're putting- they're the weird ones! They made it! When I go on a date and she asks what I do, what the f do you t would you tell her? I don't know. The only thing I can do is send the siren head video and hope she doesn't find the ones about me satirically f***ing all of these monsters. You think I'd keep doing this if it wasn't insanely popular? Leatherface. I was gonna say pass to this one, but this mofo's got a silver tongue. I mean, how are you supposed to say no when this Casanova hits you with <gasps> Smash. You never had a chance. Cenobites from Hellraiser. The Wire Twins. Those two uncanny valley horrifically distorted yet somehow also sexualized Cenobites are literally made for f***ing the denizens of hell. They massage your muscles under the skin and have elongated tongues for exactly what you think they're for. Smash, obviously. Chucky. Considering how poorly everyone reacted when Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty, created a short film where he pretended to f*** a baby doll and everything else that's wrong with this whole scenario, and the fact that Chucky would constantly be trying to stab at me. Pass. The tire from rubber. I've never gotten a tread job, but if it's anything like that time I got my d*** run over by a flatbed, pass. You see what I just did to these monsters that are literally created from the darkest pits of what you can imagine to scare each other? Yeah, these f***ers will probably be walking weird for a while. So imagine what I could do to a human that didn't like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled. I want to thank Connor from the Trademark Boys for editing this video. I was recently in a vid on their channel about the back rooms that you should check out. Do we just make a dumbass monster? Yeah, just go for it. That's Shout out to the inner circle. Love y'all. Hey, <laughs> bye.